Chapter 9 Relation between points, lines, and planes. Determine if the given set of lines are skew lines. Find the point of intersection if they are not skew lines. And we are given two sets of lines here R equals to 912 plus M504 and R equals to 823 plus S41 minus 2. So, I hope you know what skew lines are. Okay, skew lines are lines which are not parallel, but still they don't intersect. Can you tell me the reason? The reason is they are in planes which don't intersect at all. Parallel planes. So if we have two different lines which happen to be in planes which are parallel, then they will never intersect since planes will not intersect, correct? Here is a small sketch which will help you to see and appreciate the situation. Let's see the box, you know, a rectangular box. It looks more like square base, right? <laughs> now, imagine that there is a line on top of the box, like this, correct? And then we have a line in the bottom of the box also. Let me just draw it like this. And let's say this line is going in this direction. These two lines are not parallel, as you can see, right? But they are in planes which are parallel, and therefore they will never intersect. This set of lines are called skew lines. So I hope that point is clear. Not parallel, but still not intersecting. These are skew lines. Now let's see the example which we are given here. Two different lines. So direction vector for one is 5, 0, 4 and for the other one 4, 1, minus 2. Clearly, they are not scalar multiples. So the lines are not parallel. Therefore, they should intersect provided they are not in parallel planes, right? So we have to test it out whether they are really skew lines or not, right? So if the lines are not parallel and not intersecting, they are skew lines. Now, think like this. If I have lines in this plane, let's say we have these, let's say we imagine we have two lines here, right? In that case, if I do cross multiple of their direction vectors, I get a vector which is kind of going through it, right? Perpendicular to it. Do you understand? Maybe like this, right? Maybe like this. That's my direction vector. Right? So this direction vector is perpendicular to both the lines, right? Now, if I join a point here and point here, that means I'll, I'll have another line, right? This direction vector will be perpendicular to that also because the direction vector is perpendicular to the whole plane. Correct? So that means cross product of this was my normal to this plane, right? And if I do dot product of normal with the line joining any two points on these lines, then if it is zero, that means these two lines are coplanar, right? But if it is not zero, then they are not coplanar, right? If I join with a point here with this, for example, then normal is not perpendicular to this line. Do you see that? That is the idea which we have taken, right? So that is how scalar triple product comes into force, right? So what is the scalar triple product which we are trying to do? So one we will get from joining these two points. So the direction will be like this, 9 minus 8, 1 minus 2, 2 minus 3. Dot cross product of these two directions. That is 5, 0, 4, cross 4, 1, minus 2. Do you see that? So, if I get this as 0, that means they are not skewed. They are coplanar in fact. But if it is not zero, then then skew lines, right? That's how we test for skew lines. And this is called scalar triple product. This is called scalar triple product. Right? 
If it is not zero, that means Q lines. So that is what our test is and we'll try to figure out whether it is not or it is. Now if you are given this kind of equation, if you are to do scalar triple product, of course what will you do first? First you will do the cross product and then you do the dot product, correct? But here I am going to use matrix, right? And then we'll see the answer, correct? Now what is 9 minus 8? 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 minus 2 is? minus 1, 2 minus 3, minus 1. And here we have 5, 0, 4 and 4, 1, minus 2, 4, 1, minus 2, right? Let's figure it out. So it is 1 time, 0 times anything is 0, minus 4 times 1 is 4, minus, minus 1 time, this is minus 1, so we'll make it plus, right? Okay, minus 1 time, 5 times minus 2 is minus 10, minus 4 times 4 is 16, and then minus 1 time, let me write 1, 5 times 1 is 5, minus 0 times anything is 0. And let's figure it out how much is this. So this is equal to minus 4, and this is minus uh, 26, and this is minus 5, clearly, it is not zero, right? So minus 35. That means not equal to zero. That means what? These lines are skew lines. So this is an example of skew lines, right? Since these are skew lines, they will not, they will not have any point of intersection. I hope you understand the concept and this beautiful test which we have here, right? And simplicity by which we can find the answer. So if the scalar triple product is not equal to zero, that means the lines are skew lines and they will never intersect. They are in planes which are parallel. They may not be parallel as such, right? That's how it is. Thank you.